Henry Lapp, welcome to Carrick Mines. You haven't been here for a little while. No, 30 years uh, since I was last here. But you have a lengthy interest in things tennis. Yes, um, I suppose I've been involved in one way or another in tennis now for 45, 50 years, I suppose. Um, uh, I'm still slightly involved. I'm running, still run the Irish Junior Championships. This year will be my 41st consecutive year to run that in August in Fitzwilliam. Um, uh, I've cut back my involvement because I don't play anymore, so I don't, I'm not quite as involved now as I was then, but I was very involved in the 70s and 80s and 90s. And you also became a referee, I understand. I did, yeah. That came about because uh, Baileys were sponsoring the Irish Open at the time, and it was a very big tournament, and we were getting a lot of very good players. Because of the standard of the tournament, they had to bring the referee over from Wimbledon when Wimbledon was over. And Baileys, being very much an Irish company, didn't want uh, a foreign referee. And they asked me if I would qualify as a referee, and they would uh, sponsor me to go to Melbourne to do an exam in October of 1988. So I did that and got my qualification in Melbourne then. And tell me, what's the difference between a referee and an umpire then? The umpire is the man who sits in the high chair keeping the score. Uh, in an individual game, the referee has overall responsibility for the tournament, makes the draws, does the scheduling, deals with any disciplinary issues that arise during the course of the tournament. In other words, has overall responsibility for the running of the tournament. The umpire only has responsibility for the particular match he's umpiring at a particular time. So was it a difficult qualification to attain? It frightened me actually because I thought I knew everything there was to be known about tennis. And when I went out to Melbourne, it was a three-day course followed by an exam. And I remember thinking I could go to the theatre and go to dinner and do various things. But when I saw the 300-page things we were given to know by the next morning, I was sitting up till about four in the morning trying to, 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 to finish what I was at. So it, it was much more difficult than I anticipated it would be. And indeed, I was very fearful that I, having been sent over there by Bailey's, I would come back having failed the exam. I think I might have just about scraped it in the end, but it would have been a bit embarrassing to come home without the qualification. I suppose it might. Tell me, what sort of uh, future do you see for Irish tennis? Oh, hard to say. I mean, there's been no perceptible improvement, uh, certainly in the years that I've been involved. I mean, it's, it, the standard has remained very much the same. I mean, the, you get the odd good player, but very much the odd good player. I mean, I think it's a sport that people enjoy, uh, enjoy participating in. But I, I think tennis suffers in Ireland from not having a role model. I think a role model is a great person to bring on somebody and there would need to be a good dominant Irish player to bring on all the others. And I think it's a very long time since we had uh, an Irish player who was in that situation, if indeed we ever had. Well, Conor in Ireland um, probably, potentially, but unfortunately injured. So Yeah, but, but uh, Conor was a very good player. He was a good junior. Um, but he, he didn't, you know, he was 27 or 28 by the time he kind of hit his peak and but you really are getting on a bit now. You saw yesterday where people were saying that Federer was too old at 34. Yeah. And it was a great pity that Conor kind of didn't get going a little bit earlier than he did. But it's a tough life out there. He beat Federer then. Did he? He did, I didn't know yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, and he, and he was younger. Yeah, I didn't know that. So, And tell me about Carrick Mines then as a, as a, uh, a club, how do you reckon it, it rates? Oh, I'd say it, it rates extremely highly. It's always been right up there. I mean, I, I know when I was playing tennis, it was it was the um, the biggest tournament in the year was in Carrick Mines, mm. um, and I know there's a tournament on there at the moment. Uh, I don't don't know how how big it is this week, but it was always the biggest tournament uh, of the summer, and of course it was in a special situation by reason of the fact that they were able to convert their croquet lawns into tennis courts for the week and provide a perfect playing surface for for people on grass courts because. I think there are only two or three clubs in Ireland now that have grass courts. Um, well, they're perfect as long as we can keep the rain off. That indeed is true, but uh, <laughs> looking out today, I slightly fear for the files this afternoon. The forecast is not fingers great. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Indeed. Henry Lappin, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Pleasure. Thanks indeed. Thanks indeed.